Hello friends, it's Greg here again on the Blue Feather Ephemera channel. I have an eBay store also called Blue Feather Ephemera where I sell vintage magazine print ads. This past week I sold 10 advertisements for a total of $146.70. Let's take a look at them. When we sell a vintage item on eBay, what we mean, it's between 20 and 100 years old. This first advertisement here barely meets that definition. It's only 24 years old, and it came from a George magazine published in 2000. It shows the John F. Kennedy Library's Profiles in Courage Award, and if you win one of those awards, it says you'll receive a $25,000 cash prize and a silver lantern designed by Edwin Schlossberg and crafted by Tiffany & Company. $14.77 is sending this ad back to Boston, Massachusetts. The second advertisement we'll look at is quite a bit smaller and quite a bit older than that first one. It's only about 3 inches by 7 inches, so it's a partial page ad. It comes from Fortune Magazine, 1940. It shows a fellow there pulled over by a cop, and it says in... Critical moments, calm, fast thinking calls for a soothing pipe packed with fragrant Heine's blend tobacco. And $8.77 sent this ad to a buyer in Massachusetts. This third advertisement is another small one. It's actually just a little bit smaller than the last one. It measures only 3 inches by 5 inches. And it comes from Private Pilot Magazine, 1984. It's for Sorrel Hyperflight Next Generation Ultralight Planes. A little airplane with a cruising speed of 60 miles an hour and an empty weight of only 243 pounds. Uh, the company is based in Tenino, Washington. And $6.77 is sending this ad back to that town. This fourth ad is a half-page ad from 1952. It comes from Ladies Home Journal, and it's advertising a product called Frostilla Lotion. That lotion is made by the Wild Root Company, and the Wild Root Company was based in Buffalo, New York. Now, in the ad here, it shows this lady that she's applying the lotion, and it says it's a lady's lovely lotion since 1873. $14.77 is sending this ad back to Buffalo, New York. I almost forgot to mention this ad is going to a repeat buyer. Uh, I've talked about repeat buyers lately, but something I've not mentioned since the first video that I did is how important it is for a reseller, if you can, to get the name of the town into the title of the listing where a product was manufactured. If you're keeping track, three of the four ads that I've talked about so far are going back to their place of origin. We'll talk about a full page ad now, and I actually don't have very many of them this week. This one is from 1955 Radio and Television News Magazine. It's for the RCA Company, Radio uh, Corporation of America. And they're recruiting broadcast field engineers. Now, normally, I'd price a 1955 full-page ad a little bit higher, but this one doesn't have any really flashy graphic or illustration. It does have the company logo, and it's got that mid-century atomic symbol there that was so popular back in the dawn of the atomic age. But apart from that, nothing real showy about this ad, but... Uh, $12.77 is sending this full-page ad to a buyer in Arizona. Camden, New Jersey must have been a happening place back in the 1950s. That last RCA ad came out of Camden, New Jersey. And now this one does too. For Pennsylvania Quality Lawn Mowers, it was produced in Camden. It featured a Briggs & Stratton engine. said you could mow your lawn easier, faster, and better. This half-page ad was in American Home Magazine, 
And $12.77 is sending this ad to Pennsylvania. On a recent video, I exchanged pleasant comments with a viewer that goes by the handle Book Gnome. And that viewer has an eBay store, also called Book Gnome. I don't care a bit to plug it. I went and looked at it. It's a quality store. They've got a good selection of books and vintage print ads. And I don't care a bit to plug it. Uh, that's what we're here for is to support each other. The topic of the comments was how I price things. This ad right here is an example of uh, when I might go and do some research or comp uh, things to figure out what price to put on them. This is a small ad. It measures only about four and a half inches by five and a half inches, but it's early. It's from 1936, House and Garden Magazine. And uh, in, in the research, I found that the Parker Brothers Company obtained the patent for the Monopoly game in December of 1935. This advertisement for FAO Schwartz, the famous toy store on 5th Avenue, ran this ad, and so because it was early, even though it was black and white and small, I went ahead and put $18.77 on this ad, and it sold to a buyer in Pennsylvania. Contrary to what you might be thinking, that nerd alert don't apply to any of these three guys. It applies to me, and that's because I'm going to talk to you for a moment about how fascinating some of this is to me. This advertisement from 1965 is for the Irish Industrial Development Authority based in Chicago. It's uh, in the office of the Consulate General of Ireland, and... That's who I sold it back to, the, the Irish Industrial Development Authority in Chicago bought this ad for me for $21.77, and I just, I geek out over this because I think of it in these terms, if a genealogist goes back and looks at their family history, they're going to look for marriage certificates and birth certificates and death certificates and things like that. But if a business wants to know about its origins and where it came from, uh, it's going to look back at its advertising. So that's, that's how I feel about this, and I, th I think it's very, very cool. Among the ads I sold this week, there's ads with color, but I believe this is the only full-color ad of the week. It's for Bellows Partners Choice Blended Whiskey. It's a company out of Baltimore, Maryland. This ad appeared in a 1953 Life magazine. It's a full page ad. And in the ad there, it shows the fella there, he's got a shot of whiskey in his hand and he's giving it an eye. And the fella behind him, and he's studying about something too. I'm sure it's probably the whiskey. But uh, anyway, this nice ad sold for $16.77. It's going to a buyer in Pennsylvania. I saved this nice ad for last because it's got a lot going for it. It's the Bechtel Corporation, 1954, appeared in Fortune magazine. And it talks about their pipeline works from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, all the way out to Bellingham. And they supply facilities for Esso and for Mobile and for Shell. And it shows the coast there from Vancouver, British Columbia, all the way down across the Puget Sound to Seattle. Uh, it's got vivid green color. It's got the Rocky Mountains. It's a map. It's Petroliana. Uh, it's a good advertisement. I sold it for $18.77 through the eBay Global Shipping Program. It's going to a buyer in London, England. So there you have another What Sold video. This one for the week of February the 14th to February the 20th to 2024. I sold a total of 10 items for $146.70. The sales were down just a little bit, but the fun was up. I thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you tuning in. I hope I see you next week.
Hey, while you're here, I want to invite you to visit my eBay store, Blue Feather Ephemera. The link is down below in the description of this video. I always say that if a thing was made, sold, collected, celebrated, or built, you can bet it was also advertised. Classic vintage advertising makes great decor for your bar, restaurant, man cave, salon, garage, anywhere the right vibe is essential. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, please hit the like button, share it with friends, and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time.